Eventually, to switching out your sway bar linkage, I went to AutoZone and got me a whole new set. I was going to start off fresh and just start a whole new set. I mean, they're just boots. Mine will dry it out on my on my GMC Yukon, and I would, it's going to replace them. So I bought a whole new set, about 70 bucks. And I thought, well, I don't need to pay that much just for some sway bar linkage. So I went to the junkyard and I went over several vehicles and they were just as dry as mine. And then I found this one vehicle where the boots looked like they were still had life in them. So I removed them. I got in the cash, got to the cash out uh, desk. And the gentleman told me, uh, have a nice day. In other words, you can have that. So I went back and got me another set. It was in good condition and um, I got this job done for free. Now on my truck and my previous truck, the, um, the little boots are a little different. On the truck, they're slightly bigger than the boots that were on the, the Ford truck. So I had to make sure I got them off my exact vehicle now so that everything was fit right. But um, I also uh, sprayed them with some rubber seal, some white rubber seal. And it came out pretty good, but um, there you go. The version two, switching out this sway bar linkage. This is what I did, my DYI. The rest of the two, I'm going to be switching out my sway bar linkage here. My boots seem to be dried out very bad. Got two at the bottom, two boots at the top, and just gonna switch them out. I went to AutoZone and purchased some. They were about seventy, um, about thirty-five bucks a piece, something like that. It came out to over seventy bucks. So I thought, well, let me go to the junkyard and see what I could find, and I did. have a um, 9 16 socket at the bottom here and turn toward me I have my amp pack wrench, but everybody don't have that, so see how long it takes to get this off by hand. I know it's coming a little fair. There we go. That's how it was in there. That screws on top. This is the way it came when I, 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 I bought the set from AutoZone to tuck them back. Um, the new ones look exactly like this. Just gonna spray a rubber coating.
Got everything lined up and ready to go here. Just got this top portion screwed in. Need to tighten it up and she good to go. You got everything back in looking good. The rest of the two um, salvaging my sway bar linkage and stretching out the um, the life of it or well, saving 70 bucks how about that thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe this is the bottom There you go. One time I took a tire and made my own um, tray bar linkage boot just like this. pushing this uh, linkage inside of uh, the hole here and I'm putting a, a rubber boot under there with a washer and a nut and uh, tighten it back up and uh, everything's looking good. Rest of the two, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Let's put two of you together and I'm uh, going to have my uh, sway bar linkage boots. This may seem like a lot of work but it's not. Basically took my drill and Put the hole. Cut some out through the tile here. And take a hand drill or a drill press and press a hole through. And you have you some sway bar linkage uh, boots that are much sturdier. This is the original one. I put two, two, put two of these together and it should work just fine. Virtually to swing bar linkage boots on. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.